Welcome to Bitter Reality Brewing. Yes, got another announcement. We have the Brew Commander, we all know, we love. And we have the Blickman Engineering Power Controller. It's the little brother. It literally is the little brother. The big thing is, I know you can go check out the specs, you can check out the pricing, but I'm gonna talk about things that you can buy for one that work on the other one, and a lot of things that are very similar with both units that most people don't think about or really take notice to, and that's what I wanna talk about today. So it's all about the power controller, and yes, I'm sporting a into the AM clockwork heart. So been working with them a little bit, and we're talking about giveaways, things like that. But uh, I'll leave you a link, a little 10% off if you decide you really like the graphic tees. They're very cool. I know you've seen them out there. I've seen them before. And yeah, I mean, 10% off. Now they run sales, sometimes better than that, but yeah, it never hurts to save a little bit of money. But like I said, I'll put links down below on that. And you know, if we get into the giveaways, things like that down the road, I'll make sure to announce it. Don't forget, before we go into the power controller, like, subscribe, keep sharing, definitely appreciate it. I know you're thinking, how is the Brew Commander 400, 400 and like 30 some dollars, all the way up to even more than that if you go gas, you know, and that's between the 240 and the 120 or even gas controlled. Yes, they make one that controls propane. Similar to the power controller, which only retails for $240. How does that make any sense? <laughs> okay, let's go into the details, okay? And yes, if you buy one, you get this pretty little manual with all kinds of cool information. But I was looking a while back when the power controller wasn't available. And I was trying to find a small, cheap version of the Brew Commander, just for boils, you know what I'm saying? Just a nice linear power control, zero to 100% power, just to do boils, maybe do some Bruna bags, things like that. And I was finding things for around two, 250 all day long by do it yourself, put it together, no brand, no company, you know, just, or people I've never heard of. So when they re-released this for 240 bucks, yeah, this was courtesy of Blickman, but I was like, wow. So you can get a low cost solution from a reliable company you trust, win-win. So, okay, what are the specs before we jump into the features that can carry over to both units? Well, if you're looking for 120 volt, you're doing up to 20 or yeah, 120 volt, do up to 2,400 watts, okay? You cannot add relays on that, but it's got a couple of cool features. Yes, I got the brew stand here, but these little screws and there's a little bracket at the top. Hey, guess what? I know the brew commander goes there, but little brother power controller can also go up there. Screw holes are in the same spot. Brew commander. You can take the power and run it through the bottom. So when you have it up here, the power's coming straight down. Hey, guess what? You can do that with the power controller too. Everything's down here. There's no temperature thing, no temperature probe. It's just controlling your 240 or 120 and it's power output. That's all off on up to 100%. Now, if you're stepping all the way to the 240 volt, like this one is, you can do 7,200 watts. I mean, that's a serious brew kettle. And if that's not enough, maybe you're doing barrels, you can hook up to five relay modules for about 200 bucks a piece. They hook right up to the side and they go out. And this thing's got a little bracket on the back, just like the Brew Commander, it's on the back, where for 15 bucks, yeah, it's 15 bucks, I think, there's a bracket and you can hook it onto something like this, you can mount it on a wall, and these things just slide right on, clamp on, you have everything coming down from below, makes it super clean, super easy, and those relays, Let's say you start over here, you're doing a do-yourself, you got your little thing set up, doing brewing a bag. You can take those relays off, come over here, step up to the Brew Commander, and you can hook those same relays onto here. Yeah, so, I mean, from the clamp, or the, how do you say, the, the wall mount, to the stand, to running the cords from the bottom, to the relays, yeah. They both use the same stuff. They hook to the same things. It's awesome. Now, this I'm gonna only recommend really for doing you know, boils or maybe if you're doing a brew in a bag, you get the temp just about right, cover it up, you know, let it sit for your mash, things like that, that's perfect. If you're trying to do you know, temperature control, step mashing, you got all kinds of multiple profiles, you just wanna go crazy and have it all at your fingertips. Yeah, the Brew Commander, it's hard to beat. Just an amazing device. So. One thing, it's a spec and you can look in the back of the manual, which is online. Yes, you can download it. You can get it without having to buy one. Um, 
for the 240 volts, it's an L6 30 amp, and that's 240 volts. And then for the 120, which I don't have in my hand, is an L5 20, 20 amp. I'm not an electrician, so, you know, check that stuff, verify you understand what you're looking for. But yeah, I mean, very sweet. I'm looking to do a brew where we're gonna do a mash, kick it over to the boil kettle, do a boil, while I'm starting another mash over here. I think that would work just beautiful. I'm kind of wondering about the pump, but I guess I could have the pump just run. It's not a big deal. Turn the pump off and on manually, not a big deal. So yeah, if you're curious, go to Blickman. I'll leave the links down below. It's not an affiliate link. Check it out. It is the new power controller. And I say new, I know it's been out before, but it's back, so it's new now. You know, new to me, new to you. See how that works? Um, if you just want some cool teas and you need some something to wear while you're brewing that awesome beer, into the AM. Like I said, hopefully we'll be doing giveaways in the future. Um, they did hook me up with the t-shirts. I got a couple, I'll be wearing them in different videos so you can check them out. But 10% off to any Bitter Reality Brewing viewers by using the code, which I'll put down here. And yeah, don't forget, like, subscribe, keep sharing. I still have a little bit of my Minute Rice Lime Ale and I've been crushing some limes in here. I want to kick the lime up, but oh yeah, very refreshing especially when it's a low ABV. So, hey, cheers, appreciate you, thank you. And like I said, check it out, check it out. And if you didn't hit the like button, go do that now. You need some good karma, you know what I'm saying? Christmas is coming. Cheers. <laughs>